What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use your Galaxy S23 Ultra to have a lot more fun when you're text messaging your friends, when you're using WhatsApp, Telegram, any type of social media. It's a really cool feature that's baked into the gallery and you can do some really awesome things when sharing photos with friends. We're gonna get into that. Before we do, I wanna remind you guys that if you're interested in switching your wireless provider and getting some premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, you can do so with my partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has fantastic options for every data need and every price range. And also starting on April 14th, I mentioned this in the last video, they're increasing the data allotment on all these plans. So the $15 a month plan is four gigabytes right now. It'll be five gigabytes starting on April 14th. The 10 gigabyte plan at 20 a month will be 15 gigabytes. The 15 gig plan will be 20 gigabytes and the unlimited plan will be more unlimited, but they're actually giving you some extra bonuses with your mobile hotspot usage on the unlimited plan starting on April 14th to add incentive for those users as well. This is all new and existing customers starting on April 14th. Um, all their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, also mobile hotspot included as well. I've been using their service here in the Phoenix, Arizona area for about the last seven months now on all my Galaxy devices and I've been really, really happy with the service. If you guys have been waiting to make the switch, save a ton of money on your wireless and still get a great experience, now's a great time to do it because not only are they increasing the data allotments, I also have a deal right now where if you go to my link, which is mintmobile.com slash springer, sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan, get in touch with me via email or DM on Twitter, and I will ship you out a free smartphone case of your choice. Any phone, any case manufacturer that you're interested in, it doesn't have to be a Samsung phone, mintmobile.com slash springer to check it out. And again, I'm sending those cases out as a personal thank you for people trying Mint. We really appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the um, the feature that I want to get into today, which is the sticker feature on your Galaxy S23 Ultra. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, the sticker feature, I know all about it. It's not really that interesting of a feature because there's a bunch of pre-made stickers and maybe I'm not interested in those pre-made stickers. Well, that could be true in general, but there's also a really great option. And for today, I'm going to be using the S Pen because it's a lot easier to do this with the S Pen to create custom stickers. So if you're on a photo, like this photo here that I took of my son's Jurassic World uh, Higonotosaurus, he's a huge dinosaur fan, uh, you can go down here and tap edit, and this works with any photo in the stock Samsung gallery. Uh, and then you'll go over here to the smiley face, which is where you'll find stickers. So it's the second tab here, it's kind of buried. So after you go to draw, and you'll go here, you'll find stickers right there. And uh, once you have stickers, you'll then be able to go in and create a sticker from any photo that's in your gallery. Now you can see I actually already did this with a little car toy that my son also has. Let's go ahead and clear that one out of there. And then let's go ahead and create a new one. So once we tap on stickers, you can go ahead and tap on the gallery icon and that'll show you all of your custom stickers. Now you can see the one I already created here with the car, but we can also tap the plus icon and we can actually create a sticker from any other images that we have. So for instance, let's say that I'm interested in creating a sticker out of this other dinosaur um, that I have here. I believe this is a Pachycelephosaurus. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you have a couple of options when you do this. So you've got snap to shape, select manually, and you can also deselect. You can also do free form or shape. So you can actually just do like a circle, square, triangle, heart, star. I usually recommend snap to shape, but if you're using the S Pen, manually can actually work a little better. So I'll show you the differences. Snap to shape is basically just gonna, you trace the outline of this here, and it's going to snap right to the shape of the dinosaur. Now, if you have a very open area, you can see that it actually does a great job because the rest of this is carpet around here, so snap to shape actually does a fantastic job. Once you select the object you want, just go ahead and tap next, and then you'll automatically get basically the option to create this into a sticker. Now, there's a couple things you can do before that. You can go ahead and create either, if you want, from one of the colors that's in the photo, so like I could take the green, you could actually make that the border color, or you can choose any other border color you want. And you can make the border thicker or more thin, however you like. Also over here, you've got some additional options where you can choose swatches or spectrum if you wanna get really fine with the colors and choose something very specific. Now, once you choose that, you can go ahead and tap done, and this will allow you to then insert it into that original photo that you're working on. And you can see right here, now I can insert the Pachycelephosaurus right next to the Higonotosaurus. And you can do some other things with it. You can see right here, you can copy it. So you could actually have two Pachycelephosauruses if you want. You could go ahead and flip it, reflect it, and you can of course delete it. So now they're looking up 
at the uh, Higginotosaurus there. Looks pretty cool. And now anytime that you do a sticker, this is gonna be in your custom list as well. Now you can go up here and save, and when you save that, then it's gonna go ahead and save the photo. Now you wanna make sure, of course, that you don't save over the original if it's a photo that you really care about. You can go ahead and save a copy of the photo. That is something that you wanna be careful of. In this case, it's just something that I took for my son. He would actually probably enjoy this, find it quite entertaining. But if you, if you really care about that original photo, don't save over it, because you can see here that I have, in fact, saved over the original. Now, of course, you can also do manually. So let's do an example of that. Let's say, let's take this one and then let me create a sticker from here. So if we go into stickers again, go to gallery. You can see the two custom ones I already made, plus sign. Let's now choose this one here that has a Brachiosaurus in it and let's do select manually. So in this case, I'm just gonna select manually around here with the S Pen. The S Pen is a great tool for this. Now it's not gonna snap to shape, but in some cases where you have a bunch of objects around it, this might actually be better. Um, you can also then use this deselect tool to kind of deselect the things that you're not interested. You know, like if you wanna get in there the fine details on the tail, I'm not doing a great job behind the camera, but if you wanna like cut the pieces out that you don't want to be removed, then you can do that very simply. And then of course, obviously the same idea, you can then choose a color, add a border, and then this picture, I can then insert right back over here with the Pesci Slephosaurus, and it will be there for any other stickers that I wanna use. So this is a really cool feature. A lot of people don't know about this one. They think, oh, stickers, not very exciting because it's mostly pre-made stuff that you might not be interested in using, but you can actually create your own custom stickers at the end of the day. Uh, I'll go ahead and save that one too. Again, save it, or you can save as a copy if you want, make a copy of the original photo and then add the sticker um, to create that sticker and add it to any photo that you're interested in. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, you guys can sign up for some premium wireless for my partners at Mint Mobile, save some money, and get a free smartphone case sent by me right now, mintmobile.com slash Springer. I appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.